Well, hello, YouTube. It is me, Tri-State EDC. Yes, with one more knife out of the big box from Alice Alicord Paracord. Link down below to her Instagram. Check her out. It's time. It's time to find out what the final knife in the big box of knives is. I don't know. Do you? Please, please tell me? Mom? Huh? That is right, the box is almost empty, which, which means we can finally do this. Nothing left in there, goodbye. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic there. Uh, got some trash, everybody loves good trash. We have a little white pouch that says Esnix. Esnix, future me, pronunciation please. A very cushy pouch, I wanna lay down on it, take a little nap, that's nice. Um, I've, excuse me, I've heard of Esnix. They've made, like, the, I think it's called the Beer Buster. Future Me, the Beer Buster? I don't know. It has a bottle opener on it. I don't know. Apparently, this is a new knife. Alice bought this at uh, Nashville Custom Knife Show. And we're going to unzip it. And we're going to peek within the soft, cushy pillow. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Already. It's not even opened up. Okay. Esnix, she gave me a note. Gave me a note. Um, 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 Esnix. The Esnix Silver Lake. Made by Rayot Knives. Okay. Uh, first off, Mama's seat to this little inlay here is catching my attention. I don't know if that's Timascus or heat anodized uh, titanium, but it is a nice little touch, man. Ooh, baby. Not sure what it's supposed to be. Future me? Do you know what that's supposed to be? Kind of looks like a bull with horns, but the horns have been sawed off. I don't know, dude. It's been a long day. Beautiful 3D milled, contoured titanium pocket clip. Couple of screws there. Real nice micarta scales. Front flipper, kind of built like a Pena knife. Pena knives are made by Rayot as well, like a Pena. The little uh, trappers and barlows, the little front flippers he makes. About that size, but looks like a T10 pivot on this thing. Beautiful micarta backspacer. I'm assuming titanium liners oh yeah new flashlight by the way the Wubin x0 check that out yeah titanium liners and clip very nice very nice beautiful little knife uh size comparison real quick closed spider co pair three tactile knife co rockwall right in that ballpark right about rockwall size a little bit smaller and much you yeah, know, shorter than the uh, pair of three there, but a good size as an EDC. Very nice, nice jimping here on the blade spine. Let me front, front flip this baby up right quick. Ooh, oh yeah, that's just beautiful. Very old school, very old school slip joint kind of aesthetics here. And I love that hand rubbed satin finish, silver, silver line. It says silver line. Did she put silver line or silver lake? She put silver lake. That says silver line. I'm confused, but future me, you'll figure all this out, right? Thanks. Uh, beautiful, beautiful blade. It's got that nail nick on there, even though it's just for decoration. I suppose you could, like, you know, old man open this if you wanted to. Damn near a full flat grind. Nice swedge at the top. Beautiful. Esnix on one side. Blade steel is probably M390, future me. Ergos in hand on this guy. Oh, yeah, we got that nice little ramp back here. Easy, easy peasy four finger grip, tons of room, nice and thin in the hand. The jimping could come out a little bit further because I have to be way back here to land on that jimping, but you yeah, know, that's all right. Locked in, super comfy, easy peasy, subtle contouring, not a ton of texture on the uh, micarta either, which I like to see a little bit of, you know, tactile feel on my micarta, but that's all right. No worries. Locked in, feels like home. Uh, you no forward finger choil, but you can choke up right about here. Plenty of room, like I said. Feels good. Pinch grip, eh, 60% of the day on the pinch grip. There's just not a whole lot to hold on to here, you know? It's very straight lined. There's no, like, ergonomic lines going on here. But it's very comfortable in the hand. Very, very comfortable. Open size comparison. Spider Co Pair 3. Spider Co Pair 3. Uh, about that size, like, lengthwise, right at Pair 3 territory. Um, that's interesting. A little bit shorter than the pair of three. 
just a hair, just a hair longer than the rock wall. So again, great size for DC. Nice little old school minimal, uh, modern traditional, if you will. Very, very cool. Now then, action. Titanium liner lock. Lockup is a little bit of play. A little bit of play. Hold on, let me get my tools. Let me get my tools here. Oh, shit, I forgot it's a T10. Or 12 or 30. Oh, yeah. T10, baby, T10. Just a hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's better. Ooh, action on this guy. Front flipper and a front flip, 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 flipper only. Super snappy. That D10 is dialed in. Which is kind of an upside of having a, a single actuation knife. Like, there's only one real mode of actuation. You can tune the D10 and the action to that one mode. And uh, you can feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. Very easy. It's more of a top flipper than it is a uh, like a, a front flipper. You know what I mean? You kind of got to brush across the top like that. Nice texturing on it. Super easy to get a hold of. Finger? Easy. You can finger flip it all day. Nice action. Really nice and snappy. Whack. Super smooth. Running on ceramic bearings. Really nice and smooth on the close. One or two gentle shakes to send it home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Access to the lock bar is nice, too, honestly. Um, we have a nice cutout here. Little dugout area. Easy to get your the fat of your thumb in there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Very well done. It's Rayot. You know, what do you expect? Oh, you can do the reach-around flick, too. Very nice. Acoustics are nice and snappy. Nothing crazy, but... Yeah. Subtle. Subtle. Very nice. Again, future me blade steel on this. I'm guessing M390. I'm not 100% sure. But we have a damn near full flat grind. Relatively thin blade stock. Beautiful... Um, Traditional straight back? Is that what this is called? A straight back blade? Future me, figure it out. But we gotta cut something with it. Let me grab some crate and barrel catalog real quick. It's the best part of the holiday season. All the cutting material that, the, that they send me in the mailbox every day. I got magazines coming out of my ears here. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice. And slicey. No. Woo, no issues at all. A little bit toothy on the factory edge. But she cuts. Great geometry. Nice and thin. Big fan. Big fan. The Esnix Silver Lake or Silver Line, Future Me. Also, Future Me, how much are these? Did she say in the notes? No. No, she didn't. But that's okay. Future Me, you'll figure it out. Gee, thanks. But that is really cool. I like that. I like that. If you like that modern, traditional front flipper, frame lock, liner lock kind of situation, it's an excellent one to take a look at. But that is it for me. Thanks again, Alice. Links to her stuff down below. Check her out on Instagram. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Become a channel member, a Patreon member. Help support the channel. Affiliate links in the description as well. That also helps the channel. And you don't even have to give it straight to me. I'll make like a buck off of your $1,000 purchase. It'll be fine. Everybody wins. Jeff Bezos wins, but it's fine. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, threads. I'm all over the place, but that is it for me. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.